Married at First Sight season 16, episode 10, Love is Up in the Air. This is not the full review, but I just wanted to pull out the whole Nicole and Chris conversation and ask y'all, what's the problem? I, I, I don't understand why Nicole, a thick girl, don't want to be called thick. I don't understand. I mean, of all the girls on Married at First Sight, if anybody's thick, it's Nicole. But she don't she don't want her husband to describe her as thick. And she's upset that he he made a comment about her that could be offensive. I, I don't understand. Well, anyways, good morning, Remnants. Welcome to all of our new Remnants. Remnants, I love you. Thank you for your love and support. Did you watch last night? I watched last night, but I'm 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 starting to agree with y'all. This boy is getting boring. It's getting boring. I need the action to start. I need the action to start. I'm gonna come back and do the full review. But I just wanted to talk about Nicole this morning. Thank you for your love and support. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out. Thank you for those of you who are helping me to grow my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. I remember being a little teenager, my undeveloped brain and Bishop would tea past at that time. In the last days, they shall call day, night, and night, day. And then this other scripture from Thessalonians, he will say, in the last day, there's going to be a great falling away. And in my undeveloped 17 year, 17, 18 year old mind or brain, I will think, well, what in the world will make people fall away from white Jesus? Because, you know, black people love them some white Jesus. And no, I don't have no white Jesus in my house. For those of you who ask, I've never, I've been on my own since I've been 16, had my own apartment since I was 18. Never, never, never. No Jesus, no disciples in this house, okay? <laughs> no white Jesus, no Jesus. I might have a black Jesus, but I don't got no white Jesus. But anyways, and girl, here I am and the Bible is being fulfilled. And like the old folks just said, don't let the Bible fulfill on you in a, in, in a bad way. And Nicole, who is a thick girl, is saying, don't call me thick. You know, men calling themselves women, women calling themselves men. That's that scripture, y'all. They will call day, night, and night, day. Hello, Bible's being fulfilled. So Nicole and Chris, they're sitting down talking and he's talking about he got some body issues, which probably mean he has a little dingling or a micro because Chris looks perfect to me. Chris looks like he is the perfect man. Fine. He's not very tall, but not every woman wants. Um, there are short women out there. My, my, my brother, not my real brother. He's short. He's like my height. And all his girls are like five feet. His wife is five feet. His first wife was little. His second wife is little. And all the girls that he did, they are little. None of them is taller than he is. So even if a man is five, six, five, seven, he can still get a woman that's five feet and he can still be taller. Those of us girls that are five, six, we want the man to be at least, some people say six, five. I don't understand why you need a six, five feet, ma'am, ma'am. I'm five, six, so I said he got to be at least six feet. That's why I told my husband, you make it by the brim of your teeth because you just made six feet, okay? So Chris to me looks perfect, so it must be a problem with the D. So then Chris says, you know what? Well, I just wanted to be honest and tell you that they asked me what I thought about you, and I did say she is a little thicker than I'm used to, but that not in a bad way. Well, well, well what way did you mean it? She's a thick girl. Nicole is a thick girl, Chris. Just admit it. She's thicker than what you like. And I said it at the beginning. I said, I don't think he's going to like her. He's going to make himself like her because he has some other kind of insecurities. 
and stuff that's going on. Don't you just love when they when they confirm what you said? He's had he's have some kind of other issues going on, and so it just makes sense for him to just sit down, lap himself down, and take somebody like Nicole, who will just take a tree, the lampstand. If Nicole can get the lampstand, Nicole will take the lampstand. So he gonna say, you know, I said, and I, you know, it's out there. You gonna hear it, and I want you to hear it from me. And then Nicole, the light came on for her. The light came on for her because Nicole is, is one of those women who do not realize <laughs> that a man, physicality is important to a man. Nicole is one of those women who don't understand that men are not blind, <clears throat> right? They are not blind. There are things they like in a woman. There's things about, and you know what else is Nicole Brown? A lot of women is like this. You just think he's just going to love you and like you and all of that. And that's, and that is not true. And so when Chris says, well, you know, you're a little thicker than I, than I like, it was like, oh my God, the light came on for her. I'm going to come back and I'm going to go through these slides. The light came on for her because she's realizing that he, uh, he never really liked her. And so when she was being mad at Clint, Boom, in your face, Nicole, huh? At least, at least Clint didn't say Gina was thick. She, he says, I am used to dating slender and athletic girl. No, Chris is going to make the excuse, talk about, well, I didn't mean thick in a bad way, but thick in an athletic way. What part of Nicole is athletic? What part of Nicole is athletic, Chris? Please tell me. I just want to know how you get athletic from Nicole. And the light came on for her. And he even said, well, you refer yourself to as being a little thicker. And then she's going to say, but it's not the same thing. Girls can do, say whatever they want to do. Say, oh, really? But the man can't. We can want a six feet, six, five, tall man, dark, handsome, make you $250,000 a year with 10 inches of goodness. But soon as he said, well, she's a little thicker than I want her to be. Oh, my God, it's World War Three. And here she says, I do call myself a thicker girl, but, oh, you could call yourself a thicker girl, but he can't call you a thicker girl. It's okay for me to call myself thick. Oh, really? And then she going to say, when she, if they have kids, they're going to be thicker. Yeah, Chris, run now. Mm-hmm. And he said, no, understand that thick. She also said, understand thick is not a bad thing. So what's the problem? What's the problem, Nicole? If thick is not a bad thing, why are you so upset? Why are you in your feelings? And why did you say he got balls? You know what that means? Nicole is about to flip Chris. Whenever a woman say to a man or about him, he got some balls. It's just that you cannot believe that he said what he said. So you going to say, oh, he got some balls to say what he said. He, she going to be his ass when she get in long too. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And this is the part that got me, y'all. When somebody asks about your wife, you can say she's strong, she's sexy, she's a badass. But don't say thick. How you a badass, Nicole, but you're upset that he said she's a little thicker than I like her. You're a badass, why don't you just take it? I, I, I don't understand this thing ladies and i don't want to hear nothing about outside forces man if you are so concerned about what other people think about your body type you need to go to counseling because let me tell you you have got to love yourself regardless of what you got whatever god give you is what you're gonna work from and for the black girls and girls of color my black doc, woman doctor says, for a black woman, we can't go with the BMI because the BMI was not made for black women. That was made for white women. According to the BMI, I am a black woman. I am 45, 46 years old. I am 5'6", and I'm supposed to be 125 after I don't have two kids. So that's not for us. Everybody, every woman's healthy is healthy. So for me, my doctor said, I want you to get down to 149. I have a new doctor. No, she's Hispanic because my black doctor moved to Florida to work with the senior citizens because she was sold again. Mm -hmm. So if you're such a badass, why don't you love yourself, ladies? This is the question I want to ask. Why are you so concerned about what other, what other people? If you're a thick girl, embrace your thickness, ma'am. 
If you are skinny, embrace your skinny. If you are a big girl, embrace your big girl, your big girlness. Go to the doctor and say, doctor, what's my health? And I personally, black people, I believe your primary care is supposed to be a black doctor. I don't care what nobody say. Your black people, your primary doctor, that's the one you call. That's the one you go get your physical, your blood work. I just did my tele uh, interview uh, this week. And I needed her to sign some paper, and she done that damn the rich do did ask all these questions. I gotta go do some blow work because you don't have any gone to the blow work because I've been taking my vitamins, my iron pills. Okay, okay. Uh so black people personally, I think your primary care needs to be a doctor of color. Okay, either a a, a black person, like you know, Negro black person or Hispanic. Because that's there's the next closest thing to black people. Now, when you go to the hospital, I don't care if it's a treat. I just need you to save my life. But your primary care doctor, in my opinion, needs to be because that's the doctor that helps you to maintain your lifestyle. You don't want a doctor telling you you're five, six, a 46-year-old woman and your weight is supposed to be a 125. No, ma'am. Okay, because they're not, they're not taking into consideration that women of color were different. Our bodies are different. God gave us ass, hips, thighs and stuff and we're just different from other people and so those things need to be considered i mean look at me they say i'm fat according to the bmi i'm fat now granted i'm a little fat okay you know i've been telling y'all i need to wait, wait you lose 15 pounds but i don't understand it's, it's just like these people these girls out here buying fake louis why you want somebody to think you have a real law? And get this, I'm gonna do this on my uh, grown generation now. I saw somebody drop $2,000 on a fake Louis, y'all. And won't put $1,000 a year in a college fund for her daughter. Uh, you can put $2,000 on a Louis. But won't put a thousand dollars away a year for your child to go to college or trade school or whatever they want to do when they get out of school. Well, it's the same thing as Nicole talking about don't call me thick or not embracing your thickness. Then she gonna say, I'm from New York around all these physical fitness people, you know, and I'm just so everywhere I turn, I see physically fit people. Then she's going to say she got some body issue. I ain't never seen nobody with nobody issue as thick as Nicole. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I want to know, ladies, what, what is it about you that you don't want to embrace your body? Why is it that you are so concerned about what somebody else think about your body? Because this is what God gave me. See me, I'm never going to go trying to get no bigger ass or bigger boobs. Not me. You know why? I'm thankful for what God gave me. And if it's not to save my life, sir, you're not putting no knife on me, in me, or put anything in me. You know why? I'm happy with my body. This is what God has given me. This is my temple. And I'm going to do the best I can to take care of it. And he even mentioned her, 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 her body type. He don't like her body type. That's why he's really saying, I don't like your body type. But that's what God gave you. So you need to embrace your body type and love it. Again, go to the doctor and find out what your healthy is. And whatever your healthy is, you you have to you have to go with it. Some some women's healthy is 180 pounds. Those girls that's like like five, ten, six feet. You can't expect them to be 125 pounds. Okay, I have a girlfriend. Her ass and boobs alone is 100 pounds. I kid you not. If you weigh her ass and her boobs, I'm sure those are 100 pounds. And she's like five, five, six. She's like five, nine. She's thinking about getting a breast reduction. I told her she should go get it. She's thinking, oh my God, I want to get a breast reduction. I was like, okay, girl, I come with you. But whatever it is, you need to embrace it. 
And if you don't like it, pull back from the table, go outside, exercise, run around, go to the gym, whatever. But Miss Nicole is a badass, but don't want her husband to describe her as thick. I don't understand it, Nicole. Anyways, girl, I got go. I love you. Let me know what you think. I'll probably do the full review tomorrow or later. I don't know, girl. I'm just so. I'll talk to you later. Let me know what you think. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.